Hi, welcome to my video on checking solutions of an inequality. Solve and check each over the set of real numbers. R stands for real numbers. A. The X is on the left side, so that's good. We move the 3 to the right side and make it a negative. 2x is greater than 2. Divide by 2 on each side, so x is greater than 1. Notice we divide it by a positive number, so the inequality stays the same direction. So that means, because we're solving over the real numbers, if you graph this on the number line, we have a 0 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3. Notice it's greater than 1, so it's not 1. So this is a hollow dot shaded to the right. So these, we cannot name all the real numbers that are greater than 1, so we do a shading. That means that we could take x equals 2 as a solution. We could take x equals 3 as a solution. Any number greater than 1 will fit this inequality. So if I write down the inequality, there it is. I sub 2 in the place of x. And 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 is greater than 5. 7 is greater than 5, so 2 is a solution. But there are many solutions. And there, as we said, we can't name them all. Let's try 3. So let's write down the inequality. And we're going to sub 3 in the place of x to see if that fits. And 6 plus 3 is greater than 5. 9 is greater than 5. So that's also true again. So we're just, if you solve an equation and you get one answer, or possibly depends on what grade you're in and what topic you're doing. But right now we're doing just one solution. So let's do B. 3x minus 8x is less than or equal to 1 plus 1. So the plus... 8x moves over, become a minus, the negative 1 moves to the right, become a plus. Negative 5x is less than or equal to 2. And we divide by negative 5 on each side. And the 5s cancel out, we get x. And we divide by negative numbers, it becomes greater than or equal to negative 2 fifths. So, according to the number line, uh, we have a 0 negative 1, negative 2. So negative 2 fifths is, let's just take an estimate to be about right here. And we have it greater than or equal to. So that means we could say that x equals 0 is one solution. We could say that any number greater than a negative 2 fifths will fit. So let's try 0. So 3x minus 1 less than 8x plus 1. We're subbing 0 in the place of x. And 0 is going in the place of x. So 0 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0 plus 1. Negative 1 is less than 1. And that's true. So 0 is a solution. So notice if we did not change this inequality around, we would have taken numbers on the other side which would have been a negative 1, negative 2, and they would have been wrong. So notice we switched the inequality because we divided. And practice means pause the video and work these out to see if you're going to get the answer and try one of the solutions to see if you're right. Here we go. We have to remove the brackets. So we multiply 2 by 5x, 10x, 2 times negative 13, negative 26. So we have the bracket removed. X's go to the left, minus 4X becomes a plus 4X, and 26 negative becomes positive. So we get 14X is less than 28. We divide both sides by 14, and the 14's cancel out, gives us 1, less than 2. So again, repeat, we have to look at the numbers that are less than 2, not equal to 2. So we've got a 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1. So we cannot start with a 2, so that's a hollow dot, 
and we shade the numbers to the left. So any number that's to the left of two will work. So let's try uh, one. Actually, the best number to try all the time to put in is a zero as a solution because zero works out easier. So let's try zero. Two times five X minus 13 less than two minus four X. So I'm going to sub in a two in the place of X. So done. And I'm going to put it, sorry, I put a zero. My mistake again, always. And I'm going to put a zero in the place of X. That's when I'm checking out. So we do the inside first. So that's, we multiply, we get a zero, five times zero, zero, zero minus 13, good. And we get negative four times zero is zero. So that's negative 26, less than two, true. So zero is the solution. So we're shading to the left. And number two, let's work this one out. X's go on the left, numbers go on the right. And positive becomes a negative and positive becomes a negative as a negative 2x is less than negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 2. They cancel out to give me 1x. Because I divide it by negative, the less than becomes a greater than and I get 1 half. And just to look at the graph, I have a half. So we got a 0, 1, and a 2. A half is roughly about there. But we can't have that as a hollow dot, as a half, and we have the shade to the right. So any number to the right of a half will fit this inequality. So let's take to the right, let's take a 1, we take a 2, we take a 3, we take a 1 and a half. So let's take x equals 1. So write down the original inequality. Here's the original inequality. Sub in 1 in the place of x. As a 5 and as a 3 plus 3 5 is less than 6 that's true so it looks like we're taking the numbers that are greater than a half and that's solving an inequality but also we're checking the solution remember there's many solutions so the graphing is the way to name them all but just a little check something different if you like my video, click the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're a subscriber, then you'll be notified when there's more videos that I'll be doing in the future. Write a comment if you're a subscriber on the video and visit my math website, mathfullyexplained.com. And there you have information about me, my videos, and the content that's on my YouTube channel. And I thank you very much for viewing my video. Bye-bye.